All right, so uploading a VoiceThread is very easy, actually. The first thing you want to make sure is that you already have a PowerPoint created. You can do that um, by doing a Google Doc presentation, downloading it, and then uploading it here. Um, this presentation, this walkthrough, is assuming that you already have a PowerPoint. So when you get to VoiceThread.com, you're either going to need to register by clicking here, and again, you will need to have your first name, password, email. You can use any email address that you want um, and so forth. And that will then automatically register you. I already have an account, so I'm going to just click login. Um, once you've logged in, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. You're going to see any other voice threads that you've created. They also have these here that kind of give you a sense of like how to do video doodling and all of that sort of thing here. Um, for our purposes, I'm going to click on this file folder up here called Create. All right, the first step is to upload. So I'm going to click on Upload. Again, you can do it from a URL, from your Google Doc PowerPoint, um, or any other source. I'm going to do it from my PowerPoint that I have already constructed um, for this purpose, which is my demo voice thread PowerPoint. It uploads it completely as a however many slides that you have. And you can see this process might take a few minutes. And again, for those of you that are like figuring out what to put on your PowerPoints, ideally you would have already agreed and figured out what you want to put on the PowerPoint slides. Um, but if you want to put the questions and use that as a springboard to discuss, I would recommend doing that. So then once I have this, um, I have the slides up here. I just have to add my voice. So if I click, you can also add your title. Um, but then I'm going to click on comment, and this leads us to this page here, which might look familiar for you. And then if I click on comment, again, you have the choice of phoning in, but you only get five minutes of that phone in time unless you pay for it. You can do a video cam or webcam. Um, you can do just an audio record, or you can type. For this purposes, I'd prefer if you didn't just type. So just to kind of get used to either doing video cam or listening to your voice, I think there's something valuable in practicing that skill. Um, once you've done that, it'll save. So the first person that does it will be the MC, and that's the first person that will come up. And it should just walk its way through. Um, you're expected to um, definitely MC the slide that you said. So that means that you're going to be the, doing the bulk of the talking. But I would really suggest that everyone comment on all of the slides that you have a voice in. Ha ha ha. And then everyone raises questions on that last one. The last point is that you're going to go to Publishing Options. Um, and here you want to click Allow Anyone to View and Allow Anyone to Comment. Click Save. And that should make it so that anyone is able to view and comment. And then you click here in terms of, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. Um, I don't need to. All right, so then when I'm done with there, I can click on share, um, and I can click this get a link, copy the link. It's already copied, so then now I can just control V into my, um, my blog or that sort of thing. For some reason, it doesn't embed well into WordPress, so if you were trying to do that, if you're able to do that, you get mad bonus points and you can teach me. But as of right now, I can't figure out how to embed. Um, all right, so that's all you need to know in terms of uploading your PowerPoint and sharing it. Thanks.